Hello everybody and welcome back to Salty Tales. Today we have another sticky, nasty, hot, wet day here in Florida. But it's not all bad news, guys. I learned about a place that is selling Wagyu ground beef. And I don't know if it's a good meat. I don't know what kind of Wagyu it is. It says Australian on that side, but I don't know exactly where it is. And I want to take you guys with me to that place and let's find out together. Let's make some hamburgers, some Wagyu hamburger, and let's see how that thing come out. I've never done it before, so let's go. Dance it, dance it. Why you, why you, why you, yeah, 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 baby. <laughs> Even he wants a Wagyu. Everybody wants Wagyu here, so let's go. All right, this is the place, and it's open, so let's get into it, man. It's looking good. Oh, look what I found. Everybody know what this is, right? <laughs> Look at it, picanha. What's the price? Twenty-four dollars for this one is six ninety-eight, and is aged black Angus. Age. I have to ask about that age thing. Grass-fed picanha, guys. What's the price? Twelve dollars a pound. Mm. I don't know. So we have here black Angus, it's, it's a thick rebind. Look at the thickness of that. I say that's about an inch, an inch and a half. That's a looking, good looking one. More rebind here. A little expensive, but it's good meat nonetheless. Cowboy rebind. Oh, that's a nice cowboy rebind. There you go. That's all we need. Ooh, look at what we have here. Ah, patita de puerco. Pork feet. Pork feet, guys. No, we me. can do a lot of good stuff with sound. this one. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure people don't know what sow is. Put it down there if you know what sow is. Sow is amazing, guys. We're going to make a recipe for them like that. Sow is awesome. So yeah. put it down there if you know what it is. Ooh, what is that? That's the whole lamb, guys. And we, ooh, look who we found. What you got, what you got? What we came for. Yeah, yeah. Wagyu beef, guys. And it's a good looking one. Let's see what's the price on this thing. Uh, ground Wagyu. That's a good price. All right, this is what we came for, so let's get it. All right, guys, and this is what we have. We have ground wagyu beef. And it says that it's, well, it says in Spanish, it has no hormones, and it's Australian wagyu. I was checking around the whole place here, and I wasn't able to find exactly what kind of wagyu it is. But if it says wagyu, it should be good. I mean, the price is not expensive at all. That's what I wanted to bring it to you guys so you guys can see exactly what it is. And I... It's only one way to know if it's good or not. We're going to test it today. Let's do it. Okay, so here we have our bowl. Let's see if this baby is good or not. Let's open it up. Let's just take it out of the package. Put it in here. I mean, it has a good color. It has some nice fat in there. I don't know. It, it looks good. Let's see. Let's put the other one there, too. And all I'm going to do with these babies is just mix them up a little bit. That's pretty much it, and you should know, it is fridge cold, guys. It's not really cold, but it's just cold. It just came out of the fridge right now. And that's the way I like it to make the hamburgers look good and taste good. But first, the first thing we should do is we should light up the barbecue. All right, let's create our patties, guys. I want these patties to be a little bit big. I don't want them too small. Let's just squeeze these babies in as much as possible. Because I want to make some nice hamburgers. All right, so the whole idea is to squeeze these things up, like a ball. Then you make your patty right there, all right? Just squeeze it down. Give it a form. We have 
four big hamburgers. As you can see, my hands are full of fat from the meat. And all I really want to do with these babies is, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to put some fresh ground pepper on it. This is all I'm going to do for these hamburgers. And if you do the same thing, then you know you will appreciate the real flavors of the meat. That's all we need, that's all we have. Salt and pepper. Now, let's get ready for the barbecue. We're gonna put these babies on the barbecue, indirect heat, and then we're gonna give it 20 minutes, and after that, we're just gonna put it on the direct heat, and we're gonna sear them. I think it's time to sear these babies up. It's gonna be two minutes each side. Oh yeah. Right, so let's get ready to assemble this baby soap. Here we have our bread. Look how beautiful it is. And let's put a hamburger on top. These babies look nice and juicy. Now, I'm gonna put some blue cheese right on top. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Mmm. And let's put another hamburger right on top of that one. Let's put some more blue cheese just because we can. Isn't that beautiful? Well, there you have it. That was the Wagyu hamburger. I don't know if this is good. We have to give it a good try and see what happened because they look pretty good. They smell. They smell, guys. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, so hot. Yes, the humidity has been raining it's like so crazy. Well, guys, I think this is a success. Smell amazing. It looked really good. It's like. I mean, it's, it was a lot of fat in there. You can hear that fat yes. burning in the barbecue, in the grill. It was crackling. It was, <laughs> it, was it, it was really good. I never hear a hamburger sizzling like that. It yep. was really nice. It smells so good. So it's time to give it a try, guys. Please, because I'm hungry. Let's go for it, man. Oh I'm crazy God. for let's it. Let's go. go. Let's, let's give go. It a try. Let's go. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh, wow. Mm intentionally i didn't put a lot of stuff on it i have onions there i have tomatoes there i have a lot of stuff in there and i that? decided not to do anything with it i wanted to taste that wagyu the only thing that i put in there was the blue cheese and we love blue cheese and oh, we can yeah. identify the blue cheese really good it won't it won't overpower the flavor of the wagyu or anything like that oh no mm -mm. and i should tell you man this is so worth it yes it is this is so Worth it! It's <laughs> worth it! Man, this is good stuff! It is delicious! Delicious, brother! <laughs> this thing is amazing! This it's thing is amazing. really good. Now, the best part for you guys, $7.99. Yes. It's Wagyu. It's yes. only $7.99. Now, I should tell you this, alright? I tried Wagyu steak before. It's, it's not really like the, like the steak. Okay, it has a really good flavor. It's really nice. It's really flavorful. It has a lot of fat and everything, but it doesn't taste like the Wagyu steak. Of course, it's ground beef. It might be, you know, mixed a little bit with a bunch of different kind of Wagyu and stuff like that. 
I don't know about that. As you can hear, we have some fireworks going on. Yeah, they're celebrating the wild. I don't know what they're yeah. celebrating, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm going to put all the information about the store on the description of the video. Please check it out. They they sell, I think it's all Florida, and they they, they, they don't sell to any other state. Uh, they don't have shipping to any other state. Uh, they have shipping to the whole state of Florida. And you can, maybe if you are in Florida, you can order from them. Yeah. And it's really worth it. It's really good. It tastes really good. It's really, really, really worth it, It's guys. amazing. The smell of it, it's so good. I mean, you can see the colors. It cooked really well. Yeah, nothing got burned in there. It was yep. pretty nice. It, it, let me try it again. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Yes. This is so good. Delicious. Super delicious. There's no other way to describe it. This thing is real good, guys. Well, that's it, guys. We are going to finish this thing. Yes. This is our dinner tonight. And please, if you like it, hit us with a like. Yes. If you want to see more videos, like this, subscribe. Subscribe. It's subscribe, free. man. And hit the bell. I got a lot of people watching videos and not subscribing in there. What's going on? Yep. And if you have anything to say about it, please put it down there in the comments. Yes, it's always too. a pleasure for us to deal with you. We read all the comments. We answer the comments. That's all for today, guys. And remember that I love you. And the family that grows together, stay together. <laughs> we love you. Love you.